many pairs of trainers you got, sir? I've got 22 pairs of trainers. Wow. Uh, I'm guessing for that you clean your trainers. I, I can just tell. <laughs> Regularly, every day. Um, I've got a, a, a box of wet wipes, which I, I keep in my wardrobe. Right. Um, as soon as I finish, as soon as I come in for my my trainers, um, I take them off and I give them a clean. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I know it sounds bizarre, but I mean, you know, I, I look after my trainers. I'm, I'm you know, I've, I've got collectible trainers in, in, in the wardrobe and. You got collectible <laughs> trainers. <laughs> Yeah. Why would you not clean your trainers? Because I don't roll down the street in my clothes, Michael. That's why they're, 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 my, my shoes are dirty. It, says something, it definitely says something about the person. I mean, if I'm walking down uh, down the street with, you know, you know, casual or in a suit, and I've got a pair of trainers on, and they're dirty, it probably says a lot about me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you in a relationship, Michael? Yeah. Okay. Eleven years. Well, Darren, you see, there's hope for everybody, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> How bizarre. How bizarre. Oh, How bizarre. Uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, so, you're right, Kirsty. You're trying to catch your breath, aren't you? After the break, uh, we're trying to find out when is a gift not a gift. Uh, in short, if you were showered with prezzies by a lover, uh, how would you feel if they asked for them back when you split? Is it the same as asking for an engagement back? Like, I don't think it is. I think it's different. Uh, 027 173 is the number for your stories. Uh, Mary Harris says, if you ask for it back, it's not a gift.